ladies and gentlemen, in beginning, instead of in conclusion, <laughs> these children are tricking me. Ladies and gentlemen from Kakra, for the sake of time, we move to Chris Bell. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. A story is told of a boy who went to a store to buy some provisions for his sick father. After he had paid for the supply, the owner of the store mistakenly gave him the box containing the sales of the day. His two friends tried to convince him that it was a gift from God for the payment of his school fees. Nevertheless, he quickly went back and gave the box of money back to the owner. The theme for today's sermon is guarding your integrity. And our test is Genesis chapter 43, verse 12. I read, Take double the amount of silver with you, for you must return the silver that was put back into the mouth of your sacks. Perhaps it was a mistake. Amen. Shall we pray? Gracious Father, speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. The word integrity comes from a mathematical word, integer, which means whole number. Integrity also means without wax. The Webster Dictionary defines it as the quality or state of being of sound moral principle, uprightness, honesty, and sincerity. Hallelujah. The word implies purity of the heart. David said, I know my God that you test the heart and are pleased with integrity. Hallelujah. In today's passage, we meet Joseph's brothers arriving from Egypt, only to find in their grain sacks the money they had used to buy the grains. But some months later, when it was time to return to Egypt for more food, Jacob, their father, instructed them to take extra money so that they could pay for the previous grace and additional grain. Hallelujah. He did not try to get away with anything, which when reviewed would tarnish his good image. Some people today count it as the lost provision. If they find misplaced items or goods, even with identity on it. But for Jacob, it was equivalent to theft. He, as a man of integrity, paid for what he bought, even though he had the opportunity to keep his money. We should emulate an example and guard our integrity. Hallelujah. Beloved. What is your attitude towards money that has mistakenly found their ways into your pocket? It is godly to return such money to their rightful owners. Hallelujah. Man of God, our dailies are full of stories calling to question the moral integrities of people in ministry. Minister caught in the act, minister the first church member, etc. If you are one of such people, you are enjoined to stop for a good name is better than riches. Mr. Statesman, be mindful of pride, love for money, pleasure and sexual immoralities. For these are the very things that has brought many great men down to tennis their heart and image. Beloved, as I draw my message to an end, our integrity has to do with our private or secret life. It is about what we do when no one is watching. Ask the one sitting close to you. What do you do when no one is watching? Amen. What do you do when no one is watching? From in conclusion, we move to as I bring my message to an end. Reverend Esibonti, please make it snappy for us. Um, Christabel, good message. Application well done. Thank you. Challenging. Thank you. God bless you. Okay.